हेलो टेक एंथुसियस वेलकम बैक टू योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल माय प्रोजेक्ट आइडियाज आई एम सिमरन एंड टुडे वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग द इंटीग्रल रियलम ऑफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरिदम्स वेदर यू आर गियरिंग अप फॉर एन कोडिंग इंटरव्यू और एमिंग टू एनहांस योर प्रोग्रामिंग पावर्स दिस वीडियो हैज गॉट यू कवर्ड सो आवर गोल इज बेसिकली टू ब्रेक डाउन दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्सेप्ट्स इनटू सिंपल इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड पीसेस So guys, here we go. So today's topic of discussion is sieve of Eratosthenes. So this is basically a method to find out the prime numbers, which is less than a given number. Suppose you will be given a number n is equal to thirty. So your job basically is to find out all the prime numbers that are less than thirty. That's the goal of today's session. We already know. How to check whether a number is prime or not? How to find out the divisors of a number? So already those topics are being covered. If you have not seen them, then you can go to the YouTube playlist and have a look at them. This topic is going to be very interesting. It's a new concept. I hope many of you are not aware of this method. So guys, fasten your seat belts and let's let's proceed to today's session. Here we are. So, what are the simple steps to find the prime number that is less than equal to n? So, let's use this high value rationness. First, is create a list. So, make a list of size n plus one where each entry is true. So, first, you have to make a list of the size n plus one. Suppose n is the number thirty. So the list size should be thirty one, and each entry, that means each element in the list, should be true. So what the, does this list do? This will basically track which numbers are prime. The first two entries, that is for the zero number and for the number one, it should be false because zero and one are not prime. Then the first prime number is two. For each number starting from two. You have to iterate it to the square root of n. If the number p is still marked true in the list, mark all its multiples p into p as false. Suppose p is already there in the list. Suppose two is there in the list. Two is a prime number. So two into two, that is four. It's a non-prime number, so that will be marked as false. Two into two into three, that is two into two, four into two, eight. Eight is also a non-prime number. It's a Composite numbers will be marked as false because they are not prime. They have another factor irrespective of one and the number itself. So, what are prime numbers? We already covered it. Prime numbers are those numbers that have only two factors, one and the number itself. So, if we are thinking about four, four is not a prime number because it has three factors. It is one, two, and four. So that up to that you have to identify the non primes. Then collect and print the primes. So after identifying all the non primes, the numbers which are left, those are the prime numbers. So you have to print all those numbers. Got it? Got the algorithm? So it's not very difficult, guys. If you did not understand it, just have a look at this illustration. You can see first it's marking two, then two into two. So all the multiples of two are marked first. Then We are moving towards number three. Then all the multiples of three are marked. Then we are moving towards number five. All the multiples of five are marked. Then seven. All the multiples of seven are marked. Then the numbers which are left, those numbers are written. You can see subsequently the numbers are being written on the right hand side, up to the number one twenty because we have up to number one twenty. So just have a look at it again. First, all the multiples of two are marked. And the prime number list is updated to two. Then all the multiples of three are marked. Then it's updated to three. Then a five, five. Then a, a seven multiples are marked. Then all the numbers that were left, those num numbers were updated in the list of prime numbers. So I think this visualization was quite clear to you. You could visualize the stuff quite properly. So now. Let's have a pictorial representation. If you did not understand that illustration, just have a look at this pictorial rep representation. So we have taken an example where n is equal to fifty. 
and we have to print all the prime numbers that are smaller or equal to 50. For prime numbers, you know that it starts from 2. So let's iterate from 2 to 50. So here is a list of numbers from 2 to 50. So according to this algorithm, you have to mark those numbers that are divisible by 2. So let's see, it's marked 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, up to 50 it's marked. Next is, you move to number 3 and mark all the numbers which are multiples of 3. So it's marked. Okay. Then for 5 it's marked. So then you continue the table and finally the unmarked numbers, those are the prime numbers, are written on the below table. In the below illustration is written, you see, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. So these are left unmarked. So those numbers are written now here. So now I hope you understood how does this method look like and how does it work like. So now, important question. What is the time complexity? The time complexity is going to be big O of n into log of log of n. And also there is space for big O of n because you are going to create a table for each number and you're going to mark out the multiples of that. So, it's auxiliary spaces big O of n. So, I hope you guys understood the algorithm completely. So, I'd recommend you to just pause this video and uh, just code it by yourself. And then you come back and check the code which I have written. Okay. So, let's move to our PS code. And let's write down the code. Okay. So, what do we do? First, we do the uh, function definition. Then put the size, the name of the function, the SOE. Just let's write it SOE. Otherwise, it's going to be very lengthy. Okay. The parameter is n. Then we have to create a Boolean array. As I said, you that all the entries must be true. So let's do that. Let's create a Boolean array. So prime is equal to, let's put the condition true for in range all the entries must be true n plus 1 done let's move to the next line then let's uh, put uh, initial as a variable p is equal to 2 then let's write the loop iteration part while p multiplied by p so, we are iterating to the, up to the square root, okay. It's another way of writing that. So, if the prime of that, the boolean variable, the index of that boolean, so we are going to write prime of p. That means that entry, the pH entry, if it is not changed, then it's a prime. If it is changed, suppose the true is changed to false, then that is not prime. So, we are going to write the same logic. If prime the entry, the pth entry in the prime array or prime list. So, what do you do? Update all the multiples of p that is greater than or equal to the square root of p. Square root of it, not square root exactly, square of it because here we are taking the square, so it's square of the number. So, let's write down the loop for i in range. So, p, the p square, comma, n plus 1 comma p so what do you do we update the prime list prime i is equal to false done then our job is to increment so let's increment now the p variable implemented next let's print the prime list so let me um, write a for loop again in range starting from the second index to n plus 1 moving forward if prime p let's go print it print p comma then uh, end we have to end end is equal to let's put a space then, uh, see, we are done, we are already done with the code. Now, our job is to write the driver code. So, it's very simple, guys. It's not that big of a deal. It's very simple. 
So let's write if name. Just if you understand the algorithm, it's really a piece of cake. Main. Just you should know how to frame the algorithm. That's it. Then n is equal to the. Let's take the number thirty. Then let's print print statement. Or uh, let me write the lines printing statement following are the prime. I don't know. Okay, no problem. We'll change it later. Numbers smaller than or equal to smaller than equal to n. Okay. Yeah. Here I have done some error in the spellings. Okay, managed. Then let's call the function. The name of our function is SOE. So we are done. Let's save this and let's save it. So you got the prime number smaller than or equal to n are two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, and uh, twenty. And guys, I did an error here. As you can see that here I have missed an f letter. That's why the n is not. It was not. Uh, it was printed as n. It was not printed as thirty. I did a mistake here. I forgot the f. So here it is written in n. Okay. So these are the prime numbers. So I hope you understood the working of this project. I hope you understood the working of this code. Then the PPT was exactly clear to you. Understood what this concept was. So for today, let's wrap up this session. and let's meet in another interesting session in the upcoming video lectures till then stay tuned keep coding keep rocking and keep enjoying thank you and have a great day